And so, of course, I always have more thoughts because I think of other things after I post. So another way that we can support junior faculty, in particular women, black and brown faculty, who, as we've already talked about, sometimes get the worst brunt or don't get benefit of the doubt in their teaching, research service, mentoring, support on course evaluations, is to kind of be a sponsor and an advocate when they're not in the room, but also something that my school has starting to do and I just did recently for a junior faculty member is I said, because I know how traumatizing that was for me, let me read your course evaluations for you and I will make you a summary sheet of the positives, the negatives, opportunities for improvement. Then you draft your response based upon my unbiased evaluation of your evaluation and then you post that because obviously at a teaching school my school you're also evaluated on how well you respond to course evaluations um, are you reflecting on them did you change anything about your course or your teaching based upon student feedback like did you give more assignments less assignments have more office hours etc so the second phase is engineering professor advice this is more for junior faculty than for students Find a mentor or support on campus who can read your course evaluations for you, maybe help you draft your response, help you strategize and brainstorm some things that you can do to improve on your teaching. I, for one, did that, but I also went to a lot of teaching workshops and conferences and meetings because I got my PhD to be an engineering professor and I wanted to do it well. And I know I'm not perfect at it, but in order to improve my craft, I needed to go sit at the feet of some people who do do it well. So I think that's all I have to say now. Stay STEM wonderful. Stay STEM awesome.